Here we with everything go. we've seen from Disney, Star Wars, and Lucasfilm over the past decade plus, it's clear that they don't like fans, that they in fact hate the fans. They've treated the fans like garbage. From the very beginning when Kathleen Kennedy basically said, you know what, we don't need you anymore. We're not going to cater to you anymore. We're going to cater to a new audience. That's the audience that we want to build. She's on record saying that multiple times. So when I saw this headline, I wasn't really shocked. Star Wars producer calls out toxic fandom attacking Kathleen Kennedy. And uh, even right here, Andor producer slams toxic Star Wars fans. Tony Gilroy gave an interview and it, look, the headline says he slammed toxic Star Wars fans. And I was ready to fucking go in on Tony Gilroy. And then I actually saw the quotes and I heard what Tony Gilroy said. And I realized, you know what? Uh, the only people that hate fans maybe more than Lucasfilm is actually the mainstream media. So it wouldn't surprise me if the media intentionally misled people about these quotes. I want to get into this. Speaking with Deadline and or head writer producer Tony Gilroy addressed the toxicity he sees from fans toward Star Wars president Kathleen Kennedy. We've got about two minutes of this that I want to listen to. Tony Gilroy, who was the guy for Rogue One and, of course, for Andor, speaking about the reaction from fans and things like this. Let's see. Jeremy it. has not seen this yet. I have not. So we're going to see if Jeremy thinks that he's slamming toxic fans with this. Let's um, go. It's just, man, it's they just make you look so good it's amazing the star wars universe those fans out there the internet anytime you get into something like this you're you're fighting against that even before you've written a oh, word yeah. oh, you know God. and the pressure on you as a writer i'm just curious do you care does it bother you or does it energize you um to do right by them as well or what they expect or take them into a direction they didn't expect it was shocking on rogue because i didn't really have any exposure when when rogue happened and all, everything that happened i was I was really blown back by what was going on and, and this thing that I hadn't paid attention to. Um, so I had a, I had a, I, had a, I knew about it when I right. came back. I knew what to expect. Um, you have to realize about that community that they, uh, their passion and is, is, is they love this thing so much. The hardcore right. deepest, you have within that community, you have Shiites and Sunnis and Kurds, and you have all kinds of people who have different, but their love of the, sh of the show and their love of what it means to them is something that you really have to pay attention to. So my attitude has been, and the attitude of the show is, as much as we, as far out there as we get, and as much as we bend the tone and the idea of what to do, we could never, ever be cynical about it. We have to take it more seriously than anybody's ever taken it. We're never winking. We're never kidding it. Um, and so we have this mix of people who know nothing about Star Wars on our show, and then we have we have a, we have a bunch of people on the show that are huge nerds, and it's the marriage of of knowledge and history mixed with a real ambition to take it someplace else, with a hopefully respect for. You know, I want the respect of that audience. Now, I re I do read what they you know. I yeah. there's no. Now he's got a little more to say, and he's going to say something about Kathleen Kennedy. But just right there, what do you think about that answer, Jeremy? He was navigating it as carefully as he possibly could, but in no way, shape, or form did I feel he was slamming the fans at all. He was talking about the passion, and he was answering the question with as much substance as you could ask for, and at no point in time did he trash the fans like they are presenting, in my opinion. Not yeah, even to me, it, it's... It's not exactly like Henry Cavill's response about toxic fandom, but it's a similar vein where it's like, hey, these people are passionate. They love this and they want it to be good. And at the end of the day, I want to take this as seriously as I can so that hopefully I can get the respect from that audience that loves this thing so much. Yeah. And me, like, come on. This fucking guy who's asking the question, right, you know, right. this fucking guy, this fucking guy looks like a divorced fucking dad that works part time at Home Depot to fucking pay his child support. <laughs> the fuck is this guy doing here asking questions about Star Wars? You don't know shit about Star Wars. Go fucking work at Home Depot, you part time fucking loser. Get the hell out of here with that nonsense. So stupid. And now the, the Kathleen Kennedy stuff is about to come up here. And uh, we'll, we'll see what you think about that part. <laughs> oh, there's no way of doing it and not being controversial. Yeah. There's no way. It's impossible. And like yeah. Kathy's job is to like, right. I mean, you don't want to be Kathy on, and ever up on the internet. It's just, I oh, mean, what she goes through yeah. and what they, and it's been on for years, you know? So uh, she's amazing. She's yeah, amazing. It's a, you yeah. got to be really, you have pretty thick skin to do that. But um, 
I pay attention. I don't think we've made any real adjustments because of it, but um, it's been interesting to watch. Oh my God. Does that, does that change amazing. the way you think about it at all? Or would this guy say, oh, she's amazing? No, I mean, I, I know what the guy's saying. And his overall demeanor and tone, he sounded like he was trying to be as nice and respectful as humanly possible. And from a perspective of where he's at, I get what he's saying. You're like, what's he supposed to do? He's supposed to say she's a dumb bitch and all this? No, I mean, he's just saying, yeah, it's be tough. You know, no, he didn't trash. He didn't slam toxic fans at all. This is why people don't trust the media. This is why they don't respect the media. The media is trash. And uh, Kathleen Kennedy is trash and she deserves all the criticism she gets on the Internet. But no, I don't I don't have any in, I don't have any real problem with anything he said. I don't either. I, I have nothing wrong with that. And I think that that's I think that's the right attitude to have. And I I agree. You know what? It probably does take thick skin for Kathleen Kennedy on the Internet because there's been a lot of fucking problems with Disney Star Wars. And a lot of people have been upset for over a decade about it. Mm -hmm. But in, yep. in terms of what Tony Gilroy said, I don't think like, I, I think that's a, a very respectable answer, to be honest with you, when directly being asked a question, trying to lead him into slamming a fan base. Yes, that's it, that's the reason the question was there. It's a lie it is a point blank. It's a, it's a flat out lie from the media, and it's not surprising at all. But no, I agree completely with Ryan. Tony Gilroy, I thought that was about as a risk. Could you imagine if Ryan Johnson answered questions like that? Good Lord. You know, right. It's a drastic difference. So, yeah, I was totally ready when I saw this headline. I was ready today to fucking slam Tony Gilroy. But then I, I changed my mind when I actually saw the context for myself. Mm hmm.